miracle coming and can you believe it will take you away? There will be living and there will be loving and there will be new life in Jesus. So Denver's getting ready to sight and lock up homeless people. So... It says the street enforcement team will have the power to issue citations, but the city says the goal will be to connect people with resources. But when I'm reading this article, here's what I'm seeing. I'm going to show you what points out to me. This person says, I don't want to equate homelessness with crime, but the problem of unsheltered homelessness and encampments has been something that our community has raised a lot of concerns about, said Armando Saldate, executive executive. Uh, director of Denver Department of Public Safety. They need to understand it's a violation of law and the mechanism for that violation is a citation for this offense. How is it breaking the law to just be living on land, period? How is that breaking the law? How is that a violation of the law? See, these people are really, really sick. So this guy's saying... um. It says, South Day has been hiring and overseeing this new team. They'll begin writing citations in the coming weeks or as soon as the uniforms are available. The team was supposed to launch last year. Our team is fitted. fitted. We're just waiting on the uniforms to arrive, said South Day. I needed to make sure that those folks who are from the street enforcement team could differentiate themselves when they do take on that enforcement mechanism. Enforcement mechanism. Okay, this sounds like threats to me. This whole article is bullshit. So it said, Sade said this isn't supposed to be a team of citizen vigilantes writing monetary fines to people who can't afford to live anywhere else but sidewalks and in parks. He said the citations won't come with monetary fines, but instead people will have to appear in Denver's homeless outreach court and could be sentenced to jail or community service. So are you kidding me? So first of all, I can't wait to see what kind of uniforms they're in. I'm sure they'll be wearing all white. I betcha. So, obviously, you can go to jail for this. You can get to jail. There can be community service associated with taking care of this ticket, said Salde. That enforcement mechanism is something that we don't want to do, but it does need to be a consequence to the folks who continually resist those efforts. So, where is somebody supposed to go? What are you supposed to do when you don't have anywhere to go? And there's these rich and greedy motherfuckers that are on this land that have stolen all the resources and, and aren't. You have all these empty hotels, all these empty apartments, and you can't provide housing? Really? Really? Give me a break. And you guys can give millions to Ukraine and shit like this, but you can't fucking house someone who's homeless. But you can go ahead and find somebody who's homeless who doesn't even have money anyways. See, this is why I'm not even going to bother working a job. Because look at this. They want to go ahead and find homeless people that don't even have money anyways. This is why these motherfuckers, when I try to get a job, all they're going to do is just still look down on me and still take my money anyways. I mean, look at this shit. Look at how sick this cunt. Look, look at how sick this Denver is. Man, I'm going to Denver. I'm. I, I swear, I'm about to go to Denver. I'm going down to fucking Denver now. Yeah, I am about to fucking protest in fucking Denver. I am going to protest in Denver. This is it. So you guys need to take this as a warning that they're getting ready to lock us up. That um. It may not even be just homeless. It may not. It, it also can count for the people who also are being gang stalked as well that aren't homeless, you know? So here we are. It says Denver has tried alternative responses to nonviolent, low level police calls re- before. The Star Van sends mental health professionals and paramedics to people in crisis. Saldate says the street enforcement team has trained with the Star team and others to learn about behavioral health. They've also trained with the city's attorney's office to learn the 20 or so ordinances. These civilians will soon have the power to enforce everything from urban camping to smoking weed in public. So essentially, it just sounds like a big old thing of gang stalkers that they're going to allow the they're going to train these civilians. So are those the motherfuckers that you already have around in these white cars? Is that the fucking street enforcement team here? This shit really infuriates me, guys. This is some sick shit. This is really sick. So they think that they're going to become police, basically. So it's either going to be the military, ex-military, ex-police, these people that think that they still have some kind of, they still have some power trip that want to, this is what is going to cause a, basically a civil war in a minute. You try this shit. You try, I'm going down to fucking Denver and I'm going to go stand with the other fucking homeless people down in Denver because this is bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Complete bullshit. 
So, you know, basically, this street enforcement team will be an attempt to connect people with experiencing homelessness with resources. Because they think all homeless people are mentally ill. But what they're doing is they're using these weapons on us and harassing us, stalking us nonstop, prevent, you know, and then they want to act like it's insane. This is crazy. So one thing we're not going to use as a measure for success is the number of citations that are issued. If we're having to write tickets and we're having to do it continually, we have to do something different. Wow. Yeah. This is so crazy. So it says he's working on launching an app where people can upload their interactions with the enforcement team and keep track of where they are. So more more of this like type of surveillance type of system. So bringing people to court who have done nothing other than try to survive on the street is not the way to solve these issues, said Cervantes. It furthers the practice of criminalizing people who have nowhere else to go. Yes, Cervantes is definitely right. This is bullshit. This is so wrong. The enforcement team will not be tasked with physically sweeping the camps or even putting up the notices required by law that the camp will be swept in the coming days. Because police officers wear body-worn cameras, the city will require that they are the ones to handle sweeps to make sure all interactions are caught on camera. It says, a complaint against a police officer can be investigated by the Office of Independent Monitor or Citizen Oversight Board. Since these are civilians, the complaints will come through the Department of Public Safety. If we have complaints about this team, I want to make sure that they are handled swiftly and with all eyes, Saldate said. The Department of Public Safety expects that the team will be issuing citations in the coming weeks as soon as they get their uniforms. Wow. Wow. So this is a sort of a semi neighborhood watch type of um basically type of militia that is now being formed that's going to be formed in Denver to attack homeless people guys so this is just yeah so basically this team if we have complaints about this team I want to make sure they're handled swiftly and with all eyes so basically this team is going to get to be, have the power to do whatever the fuck they think they want and then it's going to be unprovoked attack it's unprovoked even though it's not unprovoked look what's about to fucking happen with this shit man this is crazy so guys apparently these neighborhood safety teams are going to be all around the country and in every single um major city so let's look at this now are highly trained for we actually had to take a look at the mistakes of the past and what we needed to change the officers are being trained in the constitution in community interaction car stops use of force these officers are headed to neighborhoods with the highest number of shootings and their task is to get the guns off the street the teams will wear uniforms unlike in the past when anti-crime unit officers wore plain clothes they'll also wear body okay so it says they're gonna wear uniforms similar to the bull um Denver um article I just read okay interesting and body cameras okay cameras the NYPD says 490 officers will make up the teams who are expected to work out of 30 precincts the launch of neighborhood safety teams comes as the Bronx sees record highs in its violent crimes police say two twin brothers were shot last night one fatally in the Melrose section of the borough the NYPD says shooting victims in the Bronx are up more than 32 percent from this time last year city Wide shooting victims have increased more than 9% from this time last year. The commissioner says she's confident that the new safety teams will make a difference in what we're seeing. We've added a significant number of officers to that program. The initiative is focused, it's clear, and it's purposeful. And the commissioner there also pointing out that although crime is up, police are making about 60% more arrests from this same time last year. Okay, so here's what I find interesting. Okay, so basically, essentially, this is the same kind of program that Denver's going to have. But the program in Denver, this whole neighborhood safety team is going to be in Denver to remove the homeless. But then they have the same neighborhood safety team here in New York, and this is to handle the crime and to take people's guns or something like that. Guys, am I not reading something here right? Is there something that seems a little off here to you? Let me know, because something here is painting a picture to me that doesn't look very good. So we already have gang stalkers already on the street that have went ahead and we have a government also that's went ahead and put innocent citizens on the terror watch list. So something here 
about this neighborhood safety team really kind of scares me that they're getting closer to where they're getting ready to put us into prisons or into like concentration camps or something like that. I don't know, but this is weird. And it reminds me, okay, so they're going to have cameras on them. So I really think this is going to be ex-police, ex-veterans, uh, military, whatever kind of stuff that have some power tripping issue. So now they'll be stalking us around with the camera on their chest. So I guess this is going to deal with major cities. I guess that they're just going to put this all up into major cities and then they're going to say that it's to deal with um, homelessness, to gr gun crime and stuff like that. But it could really be a coy. This could definitely be a coy. This gang stalking is definitely escalated. So I don't know, guys. Let me know. What what picture is this painting for you? What What does this look like to you? I don't know, but I know that this is weird. And I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of uniforms they're going to wear because I really think that they probably will dress in all white or all red or, or I don't even know. Let me know what you guys think. This is crazy.